<laughs> Hi, I'm Sam Douglas, the assistant farm manager from Rooted. At Rooted, we are looking to enable people to grow and thrive in healthy, equitable, and sustainable neighborhoods. Here we are at Troy Farm, where today we'll be talking about the maintenance of a two-wheeled walking tractor, which is a critical tool that we have on the farm and we use almost every day. Maintenance of your tools is one of the most uh, it's not really the most important but <laughs> <laughs> Maintenance of your tools is a pretty important part of that. <laughs> so let's get into it. <laughs> the first thing you want to check when doing maintenance is your owner's manual. Make sure you've fully read it and then check the maintenance schedule. Uh, the maintenance schedule will have all of the different tasks that you need to perform and it will say whether you need to do it every time you use the tractor every month, every winter, and so on. First thing on our maintenance schedule is to check the engine oil. When checking the oil, which we do every time before we start, you want to make sure that you can see the oil come to the edge of the threads. In the winter, we will change the oil. It's important to remember that the way that we check our oil is very different than the types of dipstick. Make sure that if you have a dipstick, you're checking properly um, between the lines. In our manual, it says that every six months or 100 hours, we will actually change the oil, which means we'll drain all the oil and then replace it. Um, refer to your owner's manual for the type of oil. SAE 5W30 is the type of oil that we use in our BCS. It is one of the most common types of oils in small engines and also very versatile under a range of temperatures. Before draining the oil, it's often helpful to run the engine so that the oil is warmer and flows out quicker. Also make sure to put a oil pan underneath to catch all of the drippings. Here we are replacing the oil on a mower, though it's a very similar process and on the BCS, in our BCS at least, it'll be 1.1 liters of oil that you will replace. This is a reduction case oil, which is a version with the dipstick. You want to wipe off the dipstick with a clean rag, put it all the way in and remove it again and if the oil is between these two lines you have enough looks like we don't quite have enough in there my maintenance schedule is the air cleaner each use we should check it every six months clean and every year replace so this is a fresh one Visually inspect to see if it is very dirty. It's very dirty to replace it. Up next on the maintenance schedule is cleaning out the sediment cup. The first thing you need to do is turn off the gas. Otherwise the gasoline will pour out as you open this. You'll clean the sediment cup and this filter by putting it in a cup with mineral spirits. Let it sit for about 24 hours, swish it around a couple times, and then replace them. Also inspect to make sure that there's no grit that is still in your sediment cup. Replacing is a bit awkward. <laughs> what does the spark plug do? It helps us start. <laughs> we replace our spark plug with a 13 16 inch deep socket. We replace it about once a year. There are ways to clean and adjust to extend the life of your spark plug. Um, but here at Troy, we generally just replace it each year. Over the course of the winter, 
the fuel tends to degrade. So there are two ways that you can go about stabilizing your BCS for winter. The first is, as we'll show, putting fuel stabilizer into the engine, then running it a bit to get that fuel stabilizer throughout the engine. And the alternative is to run your BCS out of gas. Each year we make sure to lubricate the ends of the cables so that they slide very nicely. The rocking tractor is very useful on the farm because of the different number of implements that we can install on the back. This is the rotary plow which is used for building raised beds. To maintain the rotary plow, in addition to scrubbing off all of the dirt, we will change the or add oil to the gearbox and occasionally when your tips are worn down you can spin this black tip around and you have a new cutting edge. But if we want to change it to say the flail mower or the power harrow, we need to take off the rotary drum. Listen, you're going to want to limber up before you remove your BCS implements. Okay. This is the power takeoff, which is the connection point for all of the BCS implements. You want to make sure that it is free of grit and greased so that you reduce the friction and heat that is created in the power takeoff. Each implement has a different owner's manual. This is the power harrow, which is one of the most important implements on our farm. It's used for incorporating compost and knocking back weeds. The horizontally spinning tines are helpful to minimally disturb the soil structure. And the tines are also something that you want to look at when you're doing maintenance to make sure that they're not broken. If they are broken, you'll need to replace them. <laughs> there are different types of grease guns. We have a fancy one that is drill powered. There's also a hand powered grease gun. You can see us inserting the grease gun tip over the grease zerk, which allows grease to penetrate into difficult to reach and often rotating or moving areas of the tractor and implements. Our hair does have an area that you need to check if the oil is covering the gears inside, check your owner's manual for the type of oil to replace that. This is the flail mower, which is used to mow down things like broccoli stalks and other brassicas, as well as large weeds that we have in the farm. We don't have any weeds in the farm, but if we were to have weeds in the farm, we would mow them down. It also has a, a dipstick and check your owner's manual for what type of oil to replace there. On both sides of the flail mower you'll need grease cirques that need grease and on one of the sides you'll also find a belt. To tension the belt you'll need to consult your instruction manual. These black flaps block projectiles from flying out of your flail mower so if these are broken or damaged, please replace them. Broken or damaged tines will also need to be replaced. This is the rototiller. Check for damaged tines and every year we'll take the hood off and check for our oil level in the gearbox. Cleaning your BCS is something that is probably not in your manual, but it's something that we come to very regularly as it gets caked with mud. Scrub it with a wire brush and we'll get most of it off. Well thank you for joining us today at Troy Farms. Hopefully this is very helpful so you can start doing maintenance on your two-wheel tractor. If you want more videos like this and other information visit us at www.rootedwi.org or our Facebook and Instagram at Rooted and Rooted WI or www.schoolforurbanag.org Keep that tractor running.